What's up guys and gals and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included where we are kind of at a juncture right now. Uh, we've got to make sure that we get things done in the appropriate fashion and I think that's going to be the difficult part here. Uh, I've basically got things set up so that we can start with our sanitation system. It's almost there. Uh, my suggestion would be that once we get the pipes run we start moving things around on our toiletries so that people are pooping in peace. You gotta poop in peace. If you can't poop in peace then what kind of life are you living, you know? I'm actually going to have this jump back over to here. This is going to come around like so. Those are both of our intakes right there. With our outflows, we're going to have that go like so. Perfect. And then we're going to put a shower right here. Basically, there's going to be a line uh, where the water goes through. Uh, we've got two separate water circuits right now. I'm going to use the pressure from this circuit right here in order to take purified water back into the system so that we've got like a perfect rotation here. And then as soon as this is all good to go, I think we should be in good shape at the moment. Uh, we're researching the final piece that we need, which is the hydrogen generator, so that we can use the hydrogen generator to generate a little bit of electricity for ourselves. I'm going to knock out this wall. I'm going to put in floors right here, knock out this wall, put in something on this side, and we'll just see how we're going to get that going. But other than that, uh, we're looking pretty good at the moment. I think we're going to be all right. I mean, you can get this all condensed to one pipe by using liquid filters, but liquid filters always backfire on me because I set them up improperly, and so I'm just going to avoid that temptation for right now until we get a little bit further in. As soon as this is all good to go, uh, we'll drop one of these toilets for now because they'll be able to use this for a little while because they've got a little tiny bit of leeway with regards to that pipe right there. Uh, an oxygen scrubber down here would probably be a decent idea, especially given the fact those are still doing work over here, so I don't really know what to say about it. I can't really help with that too much. I'm going to put in another carbon dioxide scrubber in my little chain of things that water is running to as well so that once we get down to the end, we'll just have a constant purification of water happening. Uh, we've lost a little bit of our workforce because they're all working on scientific advancements right now. One of the final, actually. The research in this game should go pretty quickly before anything goes wrong. Uh, stress levels are a little bit too high. And so other things that I would suggest is maybe putting in a couple of massage tables down here. Uh, just so people with very high stress can maybe alleviate that. So I'll put those two tables in right there. Uh, they will spend a lot of time on the massage tables, though, once we get those functioning and, like, set up. But her stress level is getting a tiny bit high, and I don't want her to vomit, like... If she accidentally vomits, like, polluted water into our pump, that's going to suck ass, and I don't want that to happen. And so, so long as we're working down here and we're putting in piping and whatnot, yeah, she's getting ready to heave. So hopefully she gets up to a different floor and does it because, uh... Her stress levels are a tiny bit too high. The power should be easy to reroute on this. Like what I would do is just that right there. Just something very simple off this battery. It's not having to be charged that much anyways. And so once we get this thing functioning, uh, May should be able to spend a bunch of time on the massage table so she doesn't vomit. All right, so that toilet's set up. We're gonna go ahead and deconstruct that building right there. Uh, the next thing that we're gonna put in line are a couple of showers. And so I'd like for there to be a shower there and a shower there. Be aware that if anything goes wrong, we are going to have horrible flooding in here. And so there's our outflow pipes that are doing their thing. These things, we should be able to maintain pressure because none of these things are going to be used at the same time. Uh, because that's why we've kept our population low. We've done that on purpose so that we aren't going to max out anything and have to deal with fluid pressures or anything like that at the moment. I also need to run the wiring down to here, but I was a little bit concerned about May's health. Uh, before she gets any worse, I wanted her to sit on one of the massage benches for a little bit because I don't want her to vomit into my water supply. Draining this tank right here is going at a reasonable rate. It could be going a little bit faster. Like, I could bring the pipe over to here and have two outflows, and it would probably go quite a bit faster, but, you know, little projects that I don't think matter for right now. We have no power running to those right there, and that's because the battery is drained, unfortunately. Okay, that's cool. I can live with it. That's actually turning out to be barely enough output. It's enough for the pump, but it's not enough for everything else. Okay, that's cool. I can live with it. 
I'm not going to stress too heavily about it. We got our stress levels down from like 60-ish down to 50. And so that'll work for right now. I don't want somebody running around the clock on this over here. But with our organic material rapidly fading, we are going to have to come up with solutions to problems pretty rapidly. I'm going to get rid of that right there. We're going to put in tiles down here. I will get rid of that. We are going to have to dig this entire area out. Giggity. And then I'm going to put it in an airlock right there once it's done. Uh, hopefully we don't end up with any accidents down here because the bathroom is currently being plunged. They should use this one if they get really desperate because we've set up basic piping. Uh, but it doesn't look like he's able to do that very quickly, so it's going to take some time. Food is decayed. That doesn't matter. Not going to concern myself with it for right now. Is there good? That bathroom is done, and we'll work on these showers presumably next, since they should be the next thing that's important. I'm going to start putting in scrubbers and whatnot down here. As soon as the carbon dioxide is 100% under control on this side, I am going to kill both of those because we need to limit our algae usage for right now. Going through it a little bit too rapidly for my tastes. That battery is going to be charged up, but rest assured they will drain this battery on the massage tables if given half the option to do so. And he's grabbed some mush bars. He's going to chill over there and get his stress down a little bit by eating at a mess table. They like to eat organized, what can I say? They like to eat organized. And so we've got our research done on performance combustion. So we should be able at this point to start rerouting things and doing things a little bit differently, in my opinion. We've got rejuvenators, what does that do? It can be used as a floor, does not obstruct the flow of liquid or gas. So liquid and gas can go through a mesh tile, huh? Okay, that works for me. Uh, so long as, I mean, the big problem that I'm running into here is that we don't want anybody to go into the area where we're going to be having this hydrogen solution. And, and it's possible I may just flood my base with hydrogen when I do this. Uh, accidents do happen. I occasionally plan things out poorly. I'm going to wait till they get the floor done right here, though, before we start messing about with it too much. Oh, uh, the water level does appear to be rising up here because the ladders were above the water when I built, or were below the water when I built them. So that's cool. Stress levels are mostly evened out. I'm not going to queue up any more research because I need my workforce to be doing their thing for right now. Uh, with this, I need a little bit more space to build. I think they will use that bathroom if I give them half an option to do so. I'm going to take that up right there and hopefully that will be enough space for them to finish that off. And then we'll figure out how we want to regulate these vents over here. I think power generation is going to be an issue though too until we get this... Until we get this hydrogen farty consumer thing built up, we're going to have issues. Yeah, so we're going to have to play this a little close to the chest for right now. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to disable and deconstruct that building. Probably disable the compost heap as well for now, because once we have a self-contained plumbing system, once we've got a poop chute all nice and set up, uh, hopefully more poop than shoot, in all honesty, because if you're shooting poop everywhere, that doesn't sound like an environment that I really want to live in. Uh, she's working on her stress right now, getting some sleep on in. And stress levels, while high, should be able to maintain. The pump's obviously going to drain that battery overnight. and There's not a whole lot of things I can do to circumnavigate that at the moment. I might pick up another person. That means i got to expand out my sleeping quarters, though. But I need somebody who does specifically athletics, like, all day, every day to get this all juiced up. How's her athletics going? Her athletics are at 7 right now. Which, I think that's what that is right there. I think it uses athletics to charge up batteries. Alright, so now that that's been moved out of the way, we need refinement. That means we're going to throw a... Oh, we're not actually. Okay. I'm going to have to deconstruct this then. Don't have a choice in this matter. Can't kill the toilet right now. Uh, but inside of our refinement menu, basically what I'm shooting for right now is I want to get the uh, refinery in. Then we'll take the electrical wire, we'll run that on over here. On this side, uh, we're going to put in our oxygen generation. Uh, we also need a airlock right here so that that's done. We're going to deconstruct this. We'll put in a ladder right there so that they can finish the room off. And then we'll start playing around. So with our oxygen generation, we've got the deodorizer, we've got the air scrubber. That's all good and fine. What I'm looking for right now is the hydrogen generator. 
So that's for natural gas, and that's for hydrogen. How big is this? Pretty big. So the hydrogen generator is going to be right there. I'll probably sit it off in the corner. And I may actually just seal it in, like cask of Amontillado style, uh, just to be safe. I'm going to spread this out a little bit further so that we've got a tiny bit more room to play around with. Let me put in some ladders over here. And we'll go like that, so at least we've got some more room to play around with. This is definitely going to backfire on me. I can smell backfiring in the air. It's going to be tragic, too. I can tell already. It's going to be super tragic. It's going to be deeply upsetting because we went to all this effort, and then it's just going to fall apart on us. So in, to the out, to the up, to the down. We're going to move this over to here. That'll output purified water back into the pipe where we already have it going on. Uh, these should not be in use very often, so shouldn't be that big of a deal. In addition, uh, I'm going to run the pipe work down here for what I'm trying to do. We're going to need... Oof. I don't know if I just want to do this naturally and let the hydrogen rise on its own or if I want to pump it. I'm going to have to pump the oxygen, but I don't know if that's the way I want to play it. I think it might be safer to do it that way, but it also might put hydrogen throughout my entire base and make me feel like an idiot. Alright, so that's done. That should start functioning pretty soon with all the dirty gray water. Uh, if we see people start to use these lavatories over here, we should be alright. Let me check the piping one more time because it's saying empty pipe. Uh, that's not plugged into power. I did that on purpose. Okay. Yeah, I just forgot to plug this into the grid. This grid is definitely going to be overloaded. This grid's going to be like shamefully overloaded. There we go. This is going to be about the best that I can do for right now. As soon as they get that built up, they'll get this finished off right here. And we will have our project underway to start piping farty gas all over the place. That farty party gas. Over there, it looks like it's finally gotten the carbon dioxide under control. We do have some carbon dioxide collections here and there throughout the base. We might do well... God, I don't even know at this point. This ended up quite a bit more dis disorganized than I would have liked, just based on the fact that we didn't have a lot of algae. And so when I have a lot of algae, I have the ability to go onto like a grid piece of paper and start playing around with what I want to do. And since we didn't have any algae and I'm trying to play this all in one shot, it'd make it satisfying because there's got to be problems. Otherwise, nobody has fun. But uh, as soon as they get that done down there, we got a lot of carbon dioxide in this area too. I'm going to have to use a carbon dioxide scrubber down here. Let's do that. Uh, carbon dioxide scrubber... We'll get that filtering. Luckily, since these are no longer... I'm going to disable that and disable that so that they're no longer on the grid. Uh, this should already be on the power grid, I think. So that'll make that easy to hook up. I'll probably, once we get the water drained out, make this longer too so that we have like uh, this set of batteries. Then I'll have another set of batteries over here that are not connected to the same circuit so that we have two separate things charged. I, I mean, there's a whole bunch of stuff that I'd like to do to renovate this entire experience. It's just, it's not there yet. It's not ready. Uh, this air scrubber will more than likely hang out as well, although it needs to... I forgot the air scrubber needs to be connected to... Ugh, air scrubber needs to be connected to the water as well. I guess I can live with this. I can't say that I'm really in love with this solution, but this is a temporary solution anyways. So maybe it'll work out. It should scrub the carbon dioxide out of this area really quickly. Like crazy quickly. A little bit of polluted oxygen in here as well. Which is a tiny bit upsetting. I'll have to deal with that pretty soon. Uh, she's delivered the copper ore, so this should be done very shortly. And I think that's the point at which we're going to start seeing this grid get maxed out very quickly. We've got a few too many pumps running right here. This one's almost done. And so that'll be nice once this is all finished off. Oh, we got a harvest coming through as well. And so we should be able to make some lice loafs as well. So that'll be good. But yeah, we got problematic things going on at the moment. And lots of tasks that need to be undertook before this can go any further. That's got an empty pipe running as well. Come on, pump. Finish it off for me. I may not have enough pressure going through some of this stuff either. 
Uh, can I get that? Uh, there we go. Get that all nice and finished off right there. We'll get this stuff moving. There we go. So that's functioning. We should start to see this stuff start functioning as well. Uh, that should all be outflowing through there, and so that pipe should have multiple uses. It looks like the scrubber down here is actually probably going to be one of the only things to function for right now. Using carbon dioxide, emitting polluted water. Good. So that'll kill that off. In addition, what I'd like to do down here is we'll also put in a couple of deodorizers just to get rid of some of the pollutants. Uh, we got, like, pollutants around here and there. And I'd like to have those gone. Their, their density is not so bad at the moment. It could be quite a bit worse. And we should start to see a lot more outflow out of this area, too. Basically, I'm just trying to clean up the last vestiges of nastiness that remain. That carbon dioxide is going to struggle until it goes. And polluted oxygen's around, so... I think we've done a good job with it so far. It's just that, you know, it's complicated. This game can actually be pretty tough to play. Uh, I'm going to put in my second airlock over here. There should be absolutely no reason for anybody to go over here. Once the construction is done, we'll put that on a gas permeable tile. Uh, we'll take and deconstruct this right here. I'm thinking I should probably vent it all is the best way to do it. The gas permeable tile means that the pressure equilibrium is going to be messed up inside of here. And I'm not sure how I'm going to deal with that because I've never played around with the pressure systems either. But if it's pumping the oxygen to everywhere else, we should have a constant outflow of oxygen going to the rest of the base through various vents. So I don't know. I I'm sure there will be some level of adjustment here where things are going to change. But at the moment, we've got ourselves a pretty good setup. I think that we've gotten ourselves... Wait, why is there polluted water going that way? Oh, shit, I redirected, I redirected the wrong place. Dear Lord. Okay, give me this pipe back. I messed up. That was all me. I did something stupid. I don't know why I connected that there. I wasn't paying attention. And now it done got me in trouble. Jesus. Actually, I could fix this easier. I just need to get rid of that pipe right there. And then we'll cancel that deconstruction. We... Oh, I can't believe I screwed up something so simple. That was idiotic. I, I legit feel like a moron right now. So yeah, I just polluted our water on accident. Luckily, pollution falls down to the bottom, so it shouldn't be a... Oh good, somebody wet all over the floor right there too. That's fun. Oh no, that was the water that was in the pipes. Okay. Uh, get rid of that real quick, get rid of that real quick so we don't have polluted bullshit all over the place. And please get that piping rerun. Luckily, the damage was... Luckily, the damage was limited. I caught it pretty quickly because I was like, wait, I see little... I see little green pips going through there. I mean, if we get really lucky, the polluted water should just pump through. It's a bit of a bummer, but like... I suppose I could put a liquid filter right there and that would help out too. It's unfortunate that it fell right next to the pipe. Uh, please finish that piping, my friends. Ew. So I'm going to need to put a sieve in right here. I think I have one of those. Uh, in order to fix this issue, I'm going to have to put in a pressure sieve. And so with our plumbing, I can actually do a liquid filter. I don't know how big that is. But we've got input. We've got polluted output. And this has to be placed in open areas. Huh? That sucks because I need it to be inside of a wall. I'll put it right here. I think. No, but I need it to be over here. Yikes, I've got myself into trouble. I can rotate it like that and I could put it right there and that would do perfectly fine if I could knock out that wall. Let's knock out this wall real quick. And just to make sure that I'm not deconstructing my piping. There we go. We'll knock all of that out. I'm going to put it in right here. We're going to have to fix this. Uh, 
With those pipes right there, somebody somebody prioritize that pipe building, please. Then we got polluted dirt down here, knocking out all kinds of polluted nastiness from that. Oh, good lord. Deconstruct that, please. Give me the water purifier pipe. There we go. Get that built. Get that built like yesterday. I need that built right now so that it's finished off. There we go. So that's back up and functioning. Now I need to create a, a sieve over here to fix the issue that I just made. So with the purifier, what I can do... is if I rotate that, so we got water in, we got water out, we put that right there, and I think this should work if I run it like so. I mean, it's a workaround and it's ugly and I don't like it, but it's a thing that had to happen because we've got polluted water now. And so that means I have to do janky shit like this right here. And it needs to be hooked up to electricity even better, just what I wanted to do right now. Add something else to our already overstressed grid. Lavatory should be ready to go. Showers are good to go. Uh, I'm not going to put in an oxygen generator right here. I was thinking about putting in a carbon dioxide scrubber over there. We should be in decent shape now. I think. So what's happened over here? Something has gone wrong. The water's not flowing. Oh, it's the electricity. Okay. Okay. Uh, prioritize this right here. If you guys can get on that rapidly, I would very much prefer it. God. When things go wrong in this game, they just go wrong and you feel like such an idiot. Like, that's the really upsetting part, is you just feel like a moron when you mess up in this game. Because it's always something simple. It was like some little oversight, like somebody peed in the water supply. Or you just didn't pay attention for like a second while you were getting something up and running. And you're just like, ah, oh, Jesus. You guys stop taking showers and get on this shit, man. So no element selected. I want polluted water selected to be output through there. And so that should work. It's a janky ass fix. But it's a fix. You know, it's pretty janky. Let's make sure the water's flowing now. Just to make sure that this works the way that I want it to. And until there's draw over here, I don't think it's going to function. But we should have water in of all kinds. Polluted water gets filtered out that way. Uh, normal water comes out this way. Do I have to select what comes out right here? So the liquid output should be... Yeah, I guess whatever's left over when it comes through there. We're going to have to wait and see with some of this stuff. Uh, that says empty pipe, so yeah, these aren't functioning. Why is that empty pipe? Because on some level the water's backed up. Uh, Shit, dude. Somebody just had to get pollution in the water, didn't they? Just had to get pollution in the water. Little bastards. So I think it's the way that the pipes are running right now that it's upset with. Like I think it's the I think it's the way that the pipes are underneath that right there that it's not really feeling. I think it's because the pipes are like connected right here that's making it upset, but I'm not really sure. Uh, but yeah, the lavatories are not going to be. It looks like the lavatories are going to be working for a little bit, but until we figure this out, I mean, there's not much I could do here. I suppose I could have rerouted the whole thing to hit the water purifier first and then hit it all again on the second way by. That is an option. It's ugly. Like, it's real ugly, but it is an option. Or I can just keep letting them bathe in polluted water. I mean, that's the other option, too, is that... Altogether, I'm just gonna let them bathe in polluted, polluted water for right now. Uh, somebody haul that somewhere else. Please, it's putting polluted bullshit all over the place. So if you can haul that somewhere, it'd be great. There, we should have flow again. It 
It might be that shit right there. I'm not really sure what's going wrong with this right now. I'm sure you guys will tell me in the comments, violently. There we go. Yeah, I think it's the pipe configuration right there that made it upset. That cross pipe was what was doing it, I think. I'm just going to let them bathe in polluted water for right now. The polluted water should get sucked through eventually, and in fact, I think it already has. So I don't think that was destined to be like a long-term problem. It was just one of those things that I panicked about when I saw it, and I needed to get it done like right this second. Otherwise, everything was going to die horribly. Uh, I said I was going to work on some power stuff here. So hydrogen generator. You go in right there. With the hydrogen generator, now what I need is I need oxygen generators in here. Electrolyzers. So if I put in two electrolyzers, what does the, the air sucky thing... Uh, with the air sucky thing, how big is that? It's pretty damn big, so that's unfortunate. I was hoping it would be smaller. Okay. That's fine. We'll just try to do this. Uh... No, it's not fine, actually. It's not fine at all. Uh, I'm going to have to make this a little larger down here, then. Okay. I just didn't want to open up this little vent down here is what I was trying not to do. But we'll deal with that in the next episode of Oxygen Not Included. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for playing around with me. You can see now why I was terrible at erector sets and shit when I was a kid. Uh, I don't plan properly, and it is what it is. Like, I have an idea of what I want to do. It's just that little things go wrong here and there. And I really wish they would pick up that polluted dirt right there. I'll probably just make another compost heap over on the other side just to make sure that it's getting done. Yep, that's what I'll do is I'll just make another compost heap over here. A couple of them. Because we got polluted dirt laying down from me, destroying the lavatories. Uh, water should be solid from here on in. We shouldn't have any water problems from now on. Uh, water should be in amazingly good shape. I am going to watch this water level right here so it doesn't get too high. If it does, we'll go ahead and kill that pump right there. But yeah, oxygen not included. Get the game for yourself. Uh, in the description down below, if you like what I do here on the channel, check out the Patreon. It's a great way to support me, and I will see you all later. How you do, everybody?